Hell. Okay. No, I'm bringing you to seventh layer. Hell. You, we'll, we'll, we'll say what's up to your dad while we're there. Oh! What's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again, so I can't play no footage, because it's one of them ones, YouTube pagan devils, leave it. Okay, so you heard there from, it's a UFC thing, Colby Cuckington, just losing his head, not even in a good way, and this is probably the most tragic way to lose your head, truth be known, oh, it made me, it gave me the ick, like, Colby ain't even a female and I'm icked out by him, properly icked out, and all I can say really is, I hope um, Edwards, I hope Leon kicks this guy's head clean off here, seriously, in a devastating fashion. This Colby for me is the kind of guy who, let me try and put this to PC way, he deserves to end, I mean, look at how many boxers throughout the years, yeah, people kind of, what's the guy's name, Gerald McLennan, Gerald McLennan was a decent fighter, a top level fighter, right, and People were saying, oh, he deserved what he got because he was dogfighting. Listen, man, the same people complaining about dogfighting, you man eat meat. Oops, I eat meat, but I ain't going to sit here and judge. Yeah, I can't sit here and eat meat every day and then complain when some dogs are fighting. Yeah, fair play to you. If you're vegan yeah, and fully kind of hippie, then you have a right to complain about dogfighting. If you don't, if you, you know what I mean, if you participate in the industrial slaughter of animals, don't tell me a few dogs can't fight every now and then. That's how I feel. And let's not forget as well, people, that, um, Animals be fighting all the time, right? In the wild, you couldn't. No one's complaining when two lions be fighting. What's the difference? The argument is, well, it's kind of controlled by humans, but you know, controlled by humans. Have you not seen the, the things humans do to each other? <laughs> you know, in terms of wars or whatever else. Let's not make out that oh, a few dogs fighting. Yeah, there's a whole bag of man, a whole bag of 17, 18 year old dudes being flown here and there, everywhere, getting themselves blown up. Let's not worry about some dogs. Anyway, again, let me kind of um, walk that back. I care to some extent about everything, but not enough to not eat meat. So it's one of them. I get the empathy side. Oh, two dogs shouldn't really be fighting. Agreed. Yeah? I shouldn't really be eating meat every day either. It's one of them. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. Anyway, the reason I give you that is to say that... Look what happened to McLennan. He, um... He's kind of half brain dead. And for me... This guy, Colby... I don't know, what. maybe it's more of a, a spiritual thing, but it's just proper... This for me is worse than dogfighting. I don't know why it is, but it just is. Um, is it because I have more empathy for humans? Who knows? It's just like, what? Oh, I'm, I'm taking you to hell, and you're going to see your dad there. Like, what the... F and his dad's... I, I didn't know this, but... Leon Edwards' his dad's obviously not with us now. What does it... What, what angle is this guy coming from? You know what I'm saying? What planet is he on? He's dressed up. I can't show you the... Well, you, Maybe you can see on here. I'm not sure, actually, if you can see. No, you can't. This dude dressed up in some pirate-looking-ass costume with a wig on as well. He dressed up in some super, super zesty swag. He's got some... What is this? Have a look. He's got a New Era hat on, a New Era flat cap on, a wig, and some 1970s <laughs> colonial kind of massa Candyland swag. In fact, you know what? I'm after to show you, man. Let me just show you what it's got rocking, so you can appreciate how, how how kind of how far he's fallen off. Look at this guy. Look at this cornball. Look at this guy. And I'm never mind what he said. Just look at the guy. Look at what's this, what's this guy on? What's he on? Someone come tell me, please. I need to know what's this guy on. What's he smoking? I need some. Hundred percent. I need some of this. Some of the stuff that this guy be getting because this ain't no. I've never seen this on planet Earth before. What is this guy? Yeah. Wanna be pirate? Wanna be Calvin Candy looking out dude from what's that film called? Um, Django. <laughs> and then he's got the he's got the oh no, it's not a it's not a flat cap. It's a Make America Great cap. Wow. I actually I ain't gonna lie to you. I actually think there's something in this here. I think this is kind of like a. Let's not forget, Colby got his ass whooped by Usman. And after the fight, he was politicking. He was like, oh, he's basically on his knees trying to suck use Usman off. Truth be known. Go back and watch it. He's like, oh, holding his hand, kissing his hand, doing a whole bunch of zestiness. So Usman turned him out, right? <clears throat> Colby's like that that redneck. He's a fake redneck, but he's still trying to be a redneck, right? So I reckon this, this swag here is that, again, Django, Calvin Candy. Yeah, he mad. He mad that Usman turned him out. 
and so he's trying to represent, oh, I'm representing for the old days where, you know what I'm saying? I'm representing for the old days where we had some power. We, you know what I'm saying? 100% getting punched up all the time. Usman punched you up. And think about it, like, historically speaking, Usman, I'm not sure, is, is he from Nigeria? Historically, I believe Nigeria, don't quote me on this, I'm not a, a, a geographer, but I believe it's on the West Coast. I think that's one of the main ports, actually, historically speaking, that um, S-A, sorry, S-L-A-V-E-S's were transported out of. So imagine that. Imagine Mr. Fake Wannabe Redneck get his ass tore up by an import. You know, 100%. 300 years ago, Usman would have been uh, what they call it? What does a boat do? Floats in? I don't know what a boat does. Sails in? Yeah, a boat sails in. 300 years ago, Usman would have been sailed in on a boat, right? And Colby mad. He's like, damn, this dude who 300 years ago would have been flown, oh, sorry, would have been sailed in on a boat, just whooped my ass. That's why, I, 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 I'm, listen, I'm not saying Colby's thought about this. I'm telling you, it's subconscious. That's why he turn up looking like Calvin Candy, 100%. He's trying to, uh, Colby trying to summon he trying to summon that massa candy spirit. He praying to the massa spirit right now. Massa spirit from three hundred years ago. Please put me on. Yeah, we need to get these nicks back into shape. That's what. That's what this. That's what this communicates to me. He even got the wig. These wigs have not been worn for two three hundred years. People, <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> Neither has this swag been seen for two three hundred years. There's no other way of explaining it. And one thing I did find funny. I'm, I'm moving on now, but I found it funny when um so. I couldn't show you it, but you've probably seen it anyway. Colby says it. He says, oh, I'm taking you to hell with your pops. And Usman dashed the microphone. It licked straight off him as well. Perfect shot. And that's a scary thing for Usman. I mean, Usman. Edward, sorry. Edwards licks off the microphone. Clean off Colby. Colby's all kind of shaking up and whatnot. But um, that shows the accuracy of Edwards. Yeah, Edwards need to go in there. And Colby ain't no good anyway. Yeah. He just knocking around. Colby ain't no good. And I really do hope this... Uh, this would be a tragic one. Th this, for me, is the kind of one where... If... Edwards doesn't win... I will be questioning... Is there a God kind of thing? Do you know what I'm saying? It made me think, like, wait a minute. How is God working this one out? Do you know what I mean? Like, make it make sense, people. Edwards has done it all on his own. And his mum or whatever. <laughs> There's no reason... For this guy. I'm all for trash talk. And to be honest, even some of the stuff... Conor McGregor turned me off as well. That was icky. When he started trying to... Well... Y y you know what, scrap it. <laughs> End of the day, it's a fight. So, things have been said. It's now on Edwards to... You know what I mean? Um, I mean, there's no better forum for such things to be said, right? Where else, if this was said in public, you'd really have no recourse, would you? If a man comes up to you and said, oh, I'm gonna send you to hell with your dad, you have no recourse. This outcome is purely in Edwards' hands. He needs to muster that spite and smoke this guy, refuse to lose. Do you understand? Refuse to lose and refuse the politic. Go in there with bad intentions. Mike Tyson, 1985, the young one, fresh out of the cat's kills, yeah? That's what you need to do. It's vicious, and that, that kind of, that pure spirit, you need to put on this dude ass, because he's corny. Not even corny, I'm, he's, he's below corny, he just, oof. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, no class at all. I think, I'm not even someone who really cares, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm the worst one for class, but come on now. I'm going to send you to hell with your dad, like... You really have got to be one of the most pitiful individuals in the game. Not even in the game, in, in the world. Like I said, I wouldn't wish ill on anyone. But this guy can get some. Do you understand? If this guy ended up like Gerald McLennan, I, you ain't going to see me complaining. Yeah? I bet, be, I bet the rednecks will be saying, Oh, man, he only said a few words. Oops. Yeah? Well, guess what? Them few words, he'll be able to think about them for the next 30 years in his wheelchair, won't he? That's how I feel. Let him ponder on that. Damn. Karma got me got. Anyway, before I go on, let's um, let's react to this Donny here, Sean Strickland, who's the, I think, 185 champion in the UFC. He beat, what's his name, Adesanya. And he had some comments on, actually, no, I can't play it because he was swearing too much. But essentially, 
Strickland has went off. And I, I mean, I, I rate Strickland. He's actually, as far as, I mean, I used to rate McGregor, but McGregor, he lost his head, right? He became champion and just completely lost his head. Now, obviously, Strickland hasn't got the same... Um, what's the word? He hasn't got the same clout as McGregor, but still, he seems he seems to be holding it well. He hasn't he hasn't changed who he is. You know what I'm saying? And again, he hasn't made the money McGregor has, but so far, so good. So yeah, respect to Strickland. I hope he comes through his fight with Dracus. But let's see how it plays out. Thoughts and prayers. Power to <clears throat> what's his name, Leon, Leon Edwards, and hopefully he gets it done. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let off the bell 100%.